Baruch Hashem, it is day number 331 of our daily study of Rambam Sefer Mitzvahs. And in the three chapters a day, study track of Mishnah Torah, we are finishing Hilchas Mamrim, the laws of rebels, and God willing, about to start a new section, which we'll get into momentarily. Corresponding to Hilchas Mamrim, the laws of rebels, we have one commandment, negative commandment 195, the prohibition against gluttonous eating and drinking of the Ben Serer Umeda, the stubborn and rebellious son. A very strange case that is described in Parshish Kisetze, where it talks about this son who is rebelling against his parents and he becomes a danger and he's put to death. And in case that strikes you as excessive, so the good news is, at least according to one opinion in the Talmud, it never happened. So why is it on the books? In order to learn from it, but it never actually happened, uh, according to one opinion. So what is this Ben Seir Umeda? He is, I mean, the, the stipulations here are so numerous and detailed, that's really pretty much what makes it impossible for a real case to exist. Um, he has to buy and consume a certain amount of meat. It has to be meat. Uh, it's 50 dinars of, of meat. Uh, the money has to be stolen from his father. Uh, he has to cook it rare, not raw and not cooked, but re- like cooked rare. Um, he has to eat it while hanging out with bad guys, with bad company. And all of this has to be done within the three-month period after his bar mitzvah so that he can be an adult and therefore culpable. Um, but he has to be young enough to still be called a son. At any rate, there, there, are so, and there are more details. So it becomes so far-fetched, I guess you would say, that anyone would ever actually fall into these very strict parameters. At any rate, the question is, why is it not a positive commandment? The Torah says to put, to put him to death, even if it never happened. But still, why isn't it framed as a positive commandment of putting him to death? So the Ramam says, because... Any time that someone is put to death, it has to be for a negative prohibition. In fact, the Dharma mentions there are only two cases of positive commandments where there's even kodis, the cutting off of the soul. And that is, and maybe you guys remember, um, failure to perform bris milah and failure to participate in the korban pesach, in the Passover offering. But at any rate, any other execution, any time there's death involved, has to be an, a negative prohibition. So the Ramam says the prohibition must be the behavior of the stubborn and rebellious son. Okay, now, Baruch Hashem, we're starting a new section. It's not a pleasant topic, but it's uh, it's a part of life. It's called Hilchus Evil, the loss of mourning. Now, why does this come up here? Obviously, Mishnah Torah deals with everything, so it has to at some point deal with the laws of mourning. Um, why here? So then Amam actually explains in Mishnah Torah why he talks about it here. He says, because we were talking about earlier the capital punishment administered by the high court. So JFYI, if you didn't know, one who is executed by the court, actually his family does not mourn for him. It's part of his atonement. They do not mourn for him. So since there's a connection to mourning there, so this is where the description of Jewish laws of mourning are. So here's the mitzvah. Positive commandment 37 is the positive commandment for a kohen to attend the funeral of a next of kin. Why does he have a positive commandment? Because if you'll remember, the kohen is prohibited from exposing himself to defilement, ritual defilement from the ritual impurity of a corpse. So he needs a positive commandment to force him to attend the funeral and the burial of his next of kin. And that means his mother or father or son or daughter or brother or sister. And rabbinically also, they say, his uh, spouse. So the Rambam says that included in this mitzvah is the general obligation for mourning, that when, God forbid, anyone is in a case where they are mourning a close relative, the whole concept of a period of mourning comes from this mitzvah. This is the origin of it. Okay, those are our mitzvahs for today. We'll see you for more tomorrow, God willing.